I'm Sarah Richardson. This is Nicole. This was Nicole's bedroom. And this is Nicole's bedroom now, with a little help from Design Inc. Today's challenge is redoing a third floor master bedroom. I'm on my way to meet Nicole. She and her husband Mark live in a beautiful house on a quiet downtown street. Hi, how are you? I've been looking forward to seeing your house. Early on. Wow. So, tell me, what do you like? What don't you like? I need to change the window. Okay. No like, more. you're act to, to actually change the yeah. doors? Yes. Pull them out? Okay. Like, so if you look down there. Oh, there it is. OK, there you're is. about to change the windows. Yeah. I really like the painting, how you know, you've got the water. And I right. like the colors in this room to sort of jump off of the, the painting. One thing, if you wanted to experiment with color at all, is we could definitely do something just as an accent wall. And I think that the bedside tables, we could definitely do something that would allow storage for books. Yeah, like, yeah I need some storage. <laughs> I would love to see if we could get like a pair of chairs or something here. What happens down here? Uh, well, not not much as you can see. A little bit of exercise in that corner. Okay. I, I'd like it to blend with the rest of, of the room, I guess. You'd and, like me um, to make the ergometer, yeah. the rowing machine blend? Get rid of it. Make it disappear. <laughs> now, is there anything else like that's sort of a concern or yes. any? Okay. Uh huh. Good okay. question. Okay. Uh, uh oh. <laughs> very noisy, so because you have the first floor and it's all open right up to here, yeah, uh, it's, it right. can be very noisy. So basically looking at putting some sort of curtains. If we went with something heavy, like yeah. a velvet, mm -hmm. it doesn't have to be heavy looking because right. we could choose something in a really, really light palette. Right. I think it could be neat because it could be something that sort of creates, like when you're back here, you know, it's almost theatrical. Right. I mean, really redecorating a room like this doesn't require a whole ton of custom stuff. So what I'd like to do is kind of do a blitz, mm -hmm. see what I find, bring it back, and we'll show you. And that way we can just try out some different things in place and see what you think. My team will focus on using furniture, fabric, and accessories to turn Nicole's drab bedroom into something that's classic, serene, and stylish. Tommy has a flair for traditional style with a twist. So he's the man for the job. If we're doing draperies, it's obviously going to have to be a relatively heavy or thick fabric yeah. in order to block out sound, right? I think it's going to have to be velvet. Uh, 126. So I'm thinking kind of gallery style. Oh, that'd be beautiful. Seven. So you're, the window will be oh, set back. Are you actually back. building this out? Great. We may have to rethink the drapes okay. once we see what this looks like. Beautiful. I love it. I really love it too. It's fantastic. <laughs> Here's a twist. Clients don't usually have time to accompany us on our shopping adventures, but Nicole's keen and wants to come along for the ride. Let's hope it makes the selection process faster. Hi, Hi guys. guys. Hi. Hi. Pretty good. Yeah. These are pretty. Those are really pretty. Yeah. We're looking for sort of a pair of um, bedside tables, but they don't necessarily have to match. And we can go one. We can go up to 36 inches. If you had just a simple table, you could stack all your books and magazines and stuff up yeah. on here, and then you could just push it out of the way. Maybe one side is two tables, and maybe the other side is storage. Yeah. Oh, here's a Canterbury. This is what I was talking about. So. You can do something like this. Now the advantage is you can store tons of books, and then you've even got the surface on the top. Can you see those? Oh, those are beautiful. I love glass. Do you? Yeah, the little sparkle. Yeah, I really like that. Yeah. I'd love to see the tables that we found down the street. I think we could try them with this, because that's sort of one look. Yeah. I like these because they're a little bit of the traditional, but it's a nice streamlined shape, and it's got the warmth of the color. Mm -hmm. And then I think we should also try the glass ones. And I think that'll just give us a feeling of, you know, whether we're on the right track, right? Great. That's a good, yeah. good starting point. 
Next, we're off to find the piece that will ground the room. That's too dark. Oh, oh, oh. This one? Oh, oh, is it oh, the same oh. as this one? Here, Tom. Monkeys. So I think what we should do is we'll start looking at the 8x10s. Sure. Then we're going to look at the 9x12s. This could be a possibility. Yeah. Here we go. Kylie, help her way. What do you think about any of the ones that we've got out here? Uh, I, I, you know what? I find this one reddish. I'm just not much of a purple person. OK. It's a little dark. So this is a completely different, different look. What do you think, Nicole, overall? Like, overall? Yes. It's beautiful. It reminds me of my mom's living room. Very Better. forget okay. it. Okay. Let's not waste any more time. I think this is probably the best for the painting. I think if we wanted to pull something out for that back wall, like for an accent wall, you could pull out this smoky gray blue, and you've still got a full palette of all the natural sort of neutral tones. Yeah. It's one thing to love it in the store, but let's see if Mark and Nicole like it when they see it at home. Any feedback from Nicole about what she likes? They want to be able to be messy. All right, let's see if we're on track with any of our choices. We've dropped off the furniture and rug choices so Nicole and her husband can review them in this space. This goes better with the paint. Hands down. Now it's time to grab some fabric samples so we can keep things moving on forward. I brought a bunch of samples, so I think we should just take a really, really quick look. You can manipulate this rug a bit. It mm -hmm. tends a little bit more to the greens, but I still think we could do smoky blues. Oh yeah, the blues. I think up. any of these are great with it, but let's leave it here with her. Okay. Sort of consider what she thinks. The idea behind the linens is to perhaps use them in combination on the draperies on the window. Great. The choice for headboard, I don't see going wood. If we're gonna have wood, wood, we've got a ton of hardwood floor. Yeah. I think we wanna keep the headboard soft. A straight, rectangular, mm -hmm. upholstered headboard. And then there's gonna be a nail head detail all the way around the outside. Oh, I like that. We have to be careful with the draperies that are gonna happen across the stair area. Mm -hmm. Hoping to use something that's a little heavier, maybe a velvet on that mm -hmm. side of the room. Sure. And then use the linen on this side of the room. Tables are here and set out, and the cocktail table under that one. Any feedback from Nicole about what she likes? They want to be able to be messy. Mark has already I made himself at home, so this is probably as good as it's going to get. It probably would get worse. OK, so either drawers or cabinets. It's got too bad, because this looks pretty. I think it's really it's unusual and unexpected. And I love the idea of having four different antique pieces that come together to kind of make this statement. But OK. Sure. There's one last thing that I want to show you, and it's an accent oh, fabric, maybe for cushions. Night. Yeah, That's yeah. Beautiful. And yeah. what's amazing about it is when you look at it with everything else, it pulls every single color that we have in the palette together That's beautiful. in one thing. Yeah. I think the carpet looks terrific. Me too. I think it's a perfect sort of jumping off palette for the whole room. Mm -hmm. Can you pull out a whole bunch of paint colors from the painting? Will do. Then we'll get the paint samples tested immediately and right. we'll find out what to do for the drapes. Great. It, it was interesting to see how quickly, uh, you know, they had a feel for the room, how quickly uh, they could, when we were in the stores, they could pick things out. You know, there's not many things that I didn't like so far. I guess it's a question of, of uh, picking the, the best things that go together. I'm good, thanks. On the bedside tables, where do we stand with those? The bedside tables, um, I've done sort of a little more sourcing, trying to find something in the way of a cabinet or drawers. Okay. We've definitely decided with Nicole on doing storage. Did you have any suggestions for that? I think antique is going to get really expensive and mm -hmm. finding a pair, and I just think it's going to blow the whole budget. So okay. just down the street, I saw there's a pair. They're on sale. Now, I don't love the finish, okay. but I think that they can be resprayed. Great. So I'd like to just try them out on okay. approval and then just pop it up to her, and it has to be back by tomorrow morning. What about color on this headboard? Any preference from Nicole? She did say that she'd like us to err on the side of the blue. So mm -hmm. let's go with the smoky blue, the heavyweight linen. Mm -hmm. I think it's going to be really sharp. It's going to be stunning. Well, that's a relief. I think Nicole will love our new solution for the tables. The colors are moving forward, and everything is on track for completion in no time. Or is it? Just as a door closes on one problem, a window opens onto another. This morning, I had been back and forth with Nicole and Mark and the contractors three separate times. Okay. Said to me this morning on the phone that they are absolutely not able to start until tomorrow. 
Um, and if tomorrow it rains, they're not starting even then. Okay. If you would like me to call Andrew and see if he can get in like later today and just get this going. I have a client who has a third floor bedroom that we are redoing and they have a new window that is sitting in their backyard and they have a contractor who was supposed to be there last week to do it. We know that the window, well, we don't know that the window fits. We're gonna hope that the window fits. Really? Perfect timing? We'll see you there at 10.30. Okay, let's get this one back on track. The contractor that Nicole had lined up before we came on board with the project doesn't seem to be, um, seems to have had some time issues. Sometimes I don't bring this up in front of Sarah. When you get involved with people who have an existing contractor and you get into suggesting that we fire them and bring in somebody who's gonna be faster and do it better, I don't want them to feel like they're being bulldozed through this process. I would like it to be an enjoyable experience for them. It, it's a trickle-down effect. They're late on one project, which means they're late for the next one, which means that ours has just been, our whole schedule has been shot. And it's definitely better to work with people that you know because then you can count on the work being done on time. This business is all about getting things done on behalf of the clients. The only tricky part is that they've paid a deposit, so I'm not sure about getting that back. Oh my gosh, there's another truck. Is this the contractor? Can you imagine if this was the other contractor? Fortunately, it's not the other contractor. But Andrew's here, and when it comes to getting things done on time, he's our guy. So that's the window. Right. And then that's the opening. They want to ditch the Juliet effect, so yep. that the window would be sitting at the front where the railing is now. Okay. That's where the window's going to come out to. Like a this is actually where this is where Juliet tried to kill Romeo. Wasn't it? <laughs> Push him right up. Ah! To do that, probably get it up on the flat roof. Well, Andrew's on the case, and the plan for the window bench is in motion, or is it? So we got um, we got rot. This is Nicole. This is her bedroom. And this is the new window for her bedroom. Her contractor was too busy to get the job done on time. So we brought in our own. OK. Fine, let's assume that that's dealt with. And Great. let's figure out what happened with paint and drapes. Let me just make notes here. Cape Cod Gray we're going to try out. Mm-hmm. Mm, pearl White. Yeah. Manchester. Oh, man. Chester. So I will order those from our paint supplier yep. and have those up on the walls as experimental colors uh, sometime in the next two days. Okay. So Mark had said that he was not overly comfortable with velvet because he feels it'll look too heavy and too drapey and blah, blah, blah. He knows Intended. we're not talking like red velvet, like. No, he okay. does. But I think that people automatically associate any kind of velvet drapes with those theater red velvet, right. you okay. know. Broadway. Okay. Um, so I think what he would like us to do is your other idea to do the two-sided linen drape. I'm a bit worried about the linen. If we don't know if it's gonna dampen enough sound, mm -hmm. and they seem to just wanna try it to see if they like it, I'm mm -hmm. thinking then cost-sensitive fabric is really an issue. Certainly. And I'm thinking that at $32 a yard, Certainly. we need a lot of fabric. Yards I think we figured we needed about 40 yards. So yeah. $1,200 just in fabric for an experiment seems a little extravagant to me. This is $15.99. This would be so good. It's looking a lot like velvet. <laughs> <laughs> but it's corduroy. I know. As I know that, and you know that. Do you think corduroy, corduroy is velvet? I'm not completely ruling out the possibility that it could still be velvet, and I don't think I don't I don't think I'm just being stubborn. I think that uh, I just want to make sure that Mark knows what the effect could be. Watch out for that thing; it's gonna land on you. This is the color that I love for drapes. This is one of my favorite drape fabrics, and it's only twenty dollars a yard. And you've left me. Oh, you're back. <laughs> I just came around the other side. Gorgeous. I thought we'd be so quiet and calm and... I know, but we can't. Give it up. It's never going to happen. Yeah. Okay. I'm fine. I'm over it. If we want linen, let's just get linen. Look at this silk or sunset. Sounds like a plan. <laughs> you want linen? They've got linen. Let's buy linen. <laughs> it's a gorgeous color. Love that. Mm -hmm. 
And maybe it's a nice we do it, Maybe we do one side is the blue and the other side is like a natural, right. like this. So that when you're coming up the stairs, yeah. you see this color. Do you know how much this one is? $9.99. And you've got another bolt? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Way. yeah. We've got the fabric and our trusted contractor on board. It's oh. going up there. Yeah. Now things are moving. So we got um, we got rot. Okay. That was a Juliet balcony that I was joking about yeah. pushing Romeo off. Well, Romeo could have really fallen, fallen through, through, literally. Okay. I heard that there's totally. carpenter ants and a rotted floor. I didn't hear about the carpenter ants. I got one on you. Yeah. Here. Option one is to basically rebuild everything that's rotted, yeah. okay. which is sort of the knee-jerk reaction. Yeah. Option two is to change our strategy, pull the windows back. And? And, and forget about the windows bench. Yeah, and let them... And, and fix, just sort of put it back together. Need I remind you that we were actually hired to focus on the interior of the room? It's funny, paint, fabrics, carpets, they all have to be, whenever possible, tried on site because they look different in different lights. Look at that. It's gorgeous. Stunning. Look at the lights that are going to show down the side. Oh, the window looks great. It does. Now, this is the cabinet color. Now, we've gone, since we chose this one for the cabinets, I shouldn't have said that this is the cabinet color because we've actually gone a little darker. Yeah, we ended up going a bit darker with the lacquer. And then these were wall color options. I really love that. I still, I do think this is great for the accent color. That's pretty dramatic. It is, but is it too similar to the headboard color? Yeah, just hold it here. Oh yeah, that's it. Yeah, it's pretty good. You know what, it just, it needs the strength. I'm and really it's different it. enough that your eye ends up looking around and trying to figure out where the color's coming from and it's just its own distinct thing. Okay, then this is what we're gonna do. This wall in this color. Mm -hmm. These two walls yeah. in this color. Okay. Yes. Yes. Once the room is painted, time to call in reinforcements to help set it all up. Wait, my head's stuck in the wall. Wait a second. I'm like, oh. What will Nicole think? We started with a third floor bedroom and found a few unwelcome house guests. But that's taken care of and all we need now are the finishing touches. For that, I've called on the Design Inc. team to provide the muscle we need. Oh, thank you. What a great space. Very excited. Oh, my God. Okay, what do you got? What do we have to do? We have to remove the ergometer. Really? Where is he going to use it? Is Mark going to move to the basement? We need someone to pick up the chaise. Uh, I like this one. Is this Mark's little lounge area? No more exercising. Forget that. So then we have to place the carpet and cut the under pad. Mm -hmm. Bless you. Do we have to pick up pillows? Pick up pillows and mattress cover. Okay. <laughs> I didn't know this is in my job description. <laughs> okay. Wait, my head's stuck in the wall. Wait a second. I'm like, oh. Oh, bedding. We'll probably have to iron all the bedding. The bedding needs iron. Oh, know I know. We're all going to fight for that task. Yeah. 
What do you think of those, Nicole? I, I like them very much. That's what you're doing. Good. Good. Okay, so I'll go get flowers. Thank you. Oh, I think it's fabulous. It's beyond my expectations. I walk into this room and it makes me want to go home and redo my own room. I'd like to do it over again. Now I'm thinking of another room. Seeing a vision come together, it's so rewarding.